Welcome back, Genty fans, to another round of telekinetic tomfoolery, where it truly is mine over murder. Right you are, Zach. And here with us again today is that unstoppable force and the leader of the free world, the President of the United States. And what a perfect contestant for the show, Bobby. So far, this is proving to be the perfect combination. An undefeated human with the abilities of an alien meeting the challenges of the Mad Professor and entertaining everyone in the galaxy. What more could our audience want? Other than freedom from alien oppression, the reconstruction of their whole planet, and football on the television every Sunday, I can't think of a thing. Now, Bobby, you know we're not supposed to speak ill of our most benevolent overlord, Zinyak. Uh, I'm sure Zinyak had a good reason for blowing up the Earth like he did. Uh, a good reason? A very good reason, no doubt. Let's check out how our contestant is doing, shall we? So how do you think things are going for our contestants, Zach? Uh, in this match, uh, or in life in general? I was thinking the first, but now that you mention it, let's talk about the second. Well, I imagine it's not easy for them knowing that they're responsible for the deaths of billions of people through their hubris and what will ultimately be an unsuccessful bid to overtake Zinyak. My thoughts exactly. Bringing about the near extinction of the human race is a heavy load to carry. It sure is. I feel dirty, Zach. We're just the pawns of a megalomaniacal alien overlord, Bobby. It's not our fault. Let's get back to the action. This is some championship-level mind over murder, Bobby. I agree. The president sure is giving the folks at home one another win by the leader of the Saints. Did you expect anything else, Bobby? Ah! <laughs> 